Just under two years ago, my good friend Max Foss prevailed in securing the bag for himself by being the contestant who managed to get the furthest in the world's worst, but official who wants to be a millionaire game. This game, I only win $500 bad game. This time around, I've brought in a new selection of potential Einsteins or Dumbos, and Zach Jalab is back once again to see if he has become any more intelligent. To battle it out and see who is the cleverest bastard. <coughs> what is the first even number? Ooh. Am I going to get them read out to me? Yeah. One. Two, I, I thought it was just quite simple enough, but that's fine. One, two, three, or four. I'm going to go with B, two. B, two, or oh, also a very good battleship move. Is it 2B or not 2B? It is 2B. Yes. Shakespeare's loving life right now. Yeah, he is dead, though, so maybe not. I mean, some you lose some. Zach Jalab, you are back. Hello. How clever do you feel? You failed on question five last time. If I can get past five, I've done well. I'd like to think I have generally matured a bit more. I'm now in my mid-twenties. Almost menopause. Which of these countries is in Africa? Norway, New Zealand, Japan, Cameroon. Cameroon, Kieran. Are you sure? And it is Cameroon. You're a fifth of the way to beating your previous score. Uh, I've just realised my guy looks like the slimmer version of the guy from Up. You just fat shamed the guy from Up. I'd be happy. First question, which of these is not a hero in the Cars movies? Lightning McQueen, Mater, Sally, Dumbo. Now I've never actually really seen them, which I know is poor for me. I'm guessing Dumbo because he's got his own movie. He's a, he's a star in his own right, Dumbo. I swear to God. Yes. 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 Easy. Thank you. Easy Thank first you. one. Come on, easy, easy. <coughs> oh yes. Do a magic trick. <laughs> I want to be a doctor, not a magician. <laughs> Is this your spleen? <laughs> What's your new identity? Bernard Groves. Which of these is, is a cow's baby? A, a steer. B, a ewe. C, a buck. D, a calf. Uh, a ewe sounds like a, a scouse person trying to get your attention. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with <laughs> D, a calf. Bosh, come on Massimo, job done. Easy. Yes! What do you hit with a bad minton? Not bag minton. A ball, a net, a shuttlecock, or a golf ball? I don't really know what they're try who they're trying to throw off with golf ball. They've literally just named the other sport. <laughs> uh, but I shall go for C, a shuttlecock. This guy isn't bad at badminton. He's good at goodminton. It's correct. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Which of these Fortnite modes does not exist? Save the world, battle royale, creative pixels. Now, Zach, are you... Are you a virgin? Are you familiar with this game? I've, uh, I've never played Fortnite in my life, really. I obviously know Battle Royale Creative is in there. Save the world and Pixels, I've honestly not got a clue. I don't know what Pixels could be, It'd man. be very early, but you do have four lifelines, remember. You've got a 50-50, a phone a friend, which can be real life or in-game, and ask the audience or a swap to a new question. What is save the world? Can I oh, can I ask the audience, please, Kier? Ooh, okay, okay, that does seem convincing. Oh, what waste? People always think it's a waste. It's not a waste. You are unsure. You cannot take that risk. Is it pixels? It is. <laughs> Second question. It would be very embarrassing to get this one. Oh, I don't even need the answers for this one. It's J.K. Rowling. A. <laughs> it's not H. Granger. More like J.K. Yes. Controversial. Am I right? Oh, I'll blur her name for this. What instrument did Justin Bieber play at the beginning of his career? Yeah, yeah. A violin, a guitar, a trombone, a triangle. I remember these videos when he was often singing Chris Brown. This would be a guitar. Oh, I would have went trombone, but... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Which famous skateboarder has his own video games? These do get harder. I don't know. <laughs> which <laughs> which famous Jeremy skateboarder? Kyle Jeremy Kyle? Jeremy Clarkson is saying that. I should let you know that these do get harder. <laughs> which famous skateboarder has his own video game series? Bucky Lassick, Tony Hawk, Bob Burnquist, Jeff Rowley. 
Have you heard of all of these people? I, f I was a big fan of said say, uh, skateboarding game. I do remember Bob Burnquist. Yes! That's a guy I remember as well. But I'm going to go for B, Tony Hawk. The other two clearly just non-famous skateboarders. Or just a skateboarders. <laughs> Am I right? It's not very well-known sport. <laughs> it is indeed Tony Hawk. Yes. What can you find on sea ice? Cows, rhinoceroses, lions, or penguins? Surely it's penguins. Not a rhino? Yeah, penguins. If it's not penguins, I'll lose my nut. Well, I hope it's not. I want to see that. It's penguins. It's penguins. Oh, penguins. good. Okay. Oh, Sorry. brilliant. All right. What? <laughs> what is the female reproductive organ of a flower? The parsley, the parsnip, the pistil, or the pustil? I well, a parsley is a is an herb. A parsnip mm. Is a f vegetable. I'm thinking a pistol rings a bell. Ah, uh, uh, mate, I feel I feel like I want to save my uh, lifelines. There's no use saving it if it's wrong. You, can, I'll give you a tip here. Uh, phone a friend or ask the audience is pretty accurate, quite low down. I will go with ask the audience. I think it's C. What's the audience? C. Ah, oh, but 32% did say D. But I'm going to go with C, just for the fact. Yeah, let's go see. I should have backed my- Oh, mate, I should have backed myself there. Oh, come on. Come on! Yeah! Oh, come on. Mate, easy. Ooh. Which sport is done on horseback? Equestrianism. B. Horseshoes. C. Leapfrog. D. Nightification. Um, some great sports here. I'd love to see leapfrog. The Olympic sport of leapfrog. I'd be interested to see how the Paralympic version of that goes. Would the horses be the ones with the, the disability? I'm going to go with A. Equestrianism. Now, I assumed this was when you wanted to shag horses, but we'll see. It is indeed equestrianism. Nice! What do you call plants that eat other living species, mainly insects? A. Fly plants. B. Plankton. That's a character from SpongeBob. C. Carnivorous plants. D. Praying mantises. C. Uh, I'm well versed in my insect, uh, in my insect kingdom. One lives downstairs. I'm gonna go for C. Carnivorous plants. Final answer. Bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's carnivorous plants. <laughs> Which of these animals is not a feline? A tiger. Cat, a dog, a lynx. A dog is not a feline animal, I'm afraid. Are you sure it's a dog? Do you want to just, you know, pretend there's any sort of jeopardy here and you don't know? Which of these video games has never had a movie adaptation released in theatres? Sonic, Angry Birds, Street oh, Fighter, Fortnite. Angry Birds came out a few years ago. Sonic, the, that's the second film's coming out. Street Fighter's definitely have one. Fortnite's never been a film. Yeah, like Fortnite, the movie, maybe on YouTube by a YouTuber, but never an adaptation released in theatres. D, Fortnite. Ooh, it's pretty solid logic. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Yes! yes! Which of these is not the name of a dinosaur? A. Zerka. <laughs> B. Velociraptor. C. Brachiosaurus. D. Transistor. I think uh, a transistor is a uh, something that was in like electronics. So I, I believe that is not the name of a dinosaur. Oh, I, I thought it was uh, the name of someone who used to be your brother. <laughs> <laughs> is it transistor? <laughs> Bosh, transistor, easy. In French, why does the letter C sometimes have a, 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 a sedia? Is that a, a Mexican snack? To give it an, I'm not saying that letter, to give it a sound, <laughs> or B, to give it a K sound, C, to give it a Q sound, or D, for that reason, just because they're bloody French. Bastards. I, I was going to go for this answer anyway, just because I wanted to hear you read it out, but I'm going to go for A to give it an S sound. Not a, a, f a facade or a facade? A facade? <laughs> Lord Farquad. <laughs> Princess. Ah, perfect. I used to call it a facade. <laughs> a fake aid. That's what every actor in Holby City is. What is the infinitive form of the verb in the following sentence? She really likes beans. A really. What is the B beans? C to like or D she Shimona. I don't know what infinitive means. It's like something that happens forever. Like my friendship with you, Zach Lab. You have three lifelines left, and I have a feeling another one might be used. T 
to like is not to like something isn't it forever it is if you put a bloody ring on it my friend she is not forever beans is not forever Be Be really. beans are forever i'm gonna have to call a friend please mate you want theo the son zelda the wife clementine the sister or alison the granddaughter i reckon zelda yes hello i'm oh my god oh my god she, she sounds like she's dying she's in hospital like ah, what isn't it definitive it's my life it's c no doubts whatsoever. Zelda, if you've done me in here, I'm going to come home and kill you. Yes! Zelda, honey, I'm coming home. <laughs> I bet she got the big bad degrees. Um, in what year did the people of the United Kingdom vote in a referendum to leave the European Union? 1986, 1996, 2006 or 2016? Was it that long ago? I flew to Tenerife on the morning of the result. Wait, so did you have to, like, get a visa? No, 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 that, nothing really happened for, like, five years. Oh, okay, well, thank you. I'm going to 2016, then. Oh, shit! 2016. <laughs> the year of my Wembley Cup goal. Touché. The most memorable part of that year. What is the name of the sport played in water with a ball? A, waterproof. B, water polo. C, water ball. D, splash ball. Splash ball sounds great. B, water polo, please. Bernard is confident. Water polo, beautiful. Straight on the thousand stars. Which of these countries is the farthest north? Algeria, Morocco, Turkey, South Africa. See, I'm not in, I'm not in, I'm not 100% sure, but I also don't want to use it. I don't know if I should use a lifeline this early on. See, South Africa. Seems too south. I know Algeria and Morocco are countries in Africa. Oh! And Africa is lower down than Europe, where Turkey is located. I think off that logic, it has to be Turkey, right? Screw it! See, Turkey, please. Final Ooh. answer. Ah! Yes! Ah. Never in doubt! Yes, love to see it. My, ge my geography A level went well. <laughs> it's finally Beautiful. contributed to something in this silly little life that I <laughs> partake in. My heart was racing there. I, I can't lie. You are now on the fifth question of which you failed last time round. Get this one correct and you have beaten your personal score. Which of these comic book characters is not an animal? A. Garfield. B. Charlie Brown. C. Snoopy. D. Hobbs. Have you heard of all four of them? I know nothing, man. I don't know D. I know Garfield. I know uh, Snoopy. And I can't remember if Charlie Brown is the boy wearing the green jacket or the dog. Do you have you do you know Hobbs? Yeah, yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. I feel like there is a reputation building online that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm not. Why is that? I just get into scenarios where like, look, my general knowledge isn't good, right? But ask me like the height of a footballer, I've probably got it in the bag. Well, that sounds useful. Name me a footballer, Kieran. Name me it right now. Uh, Peter Crouch. We're going to have a leeway either side, yeah? Of one. Yeah. Peter Crouch, I reckon he is six foot six. He's six foot seven. He knows his men. 50-50, please, Kieran. And if it leaves it with Charlie Brown and Hobbs, I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. Click Charlie Brown. It is the person I'm thinking of in the, gray, the green jacket. You're correct, you've oh, you made it! I've matured, man. I'm proud of you. What do you get if you mix a lava block and a water block in Minecraft? Oh, Diorite, no. granite, andesite, stone. I don't play Minecraft. <sighs> Good. I think it would be either A or C. Oh, mate, this is ropey behavior. I want to say Dior, right? But I, then I also want to do a new question. I have no idea. Do you know what's annoying? Is that this, for a lot of people, is one of the easiest questions. Yeah. Yeah, this is, unfortunately, yeah, how Who Wants to Be a Millionaire works. Oh, mate, new question, please. What would you have picked? I would have picked A. It was stone. Mate, I would never have gone for, I would never have gone for stone. Oh, actually, isn't that just, isn't that just common sense, stone? Yeah, I get, yeah, because you pour water onto lava and it goes... Where in Egypt is the Great Sphinx? Giza. Uh, that is Memphis, Aswan, or Luxor. Oh, isn't it the Pyramids of Giza? The Sphinx. But then isn't this... I feel like Luxor's... Oh, the Luxor's in Vegas, the hotel. Uh, screw it, Giza. Oh, the Giza's gone for Giza. But I think it also might be Luxor. Oh, no, no, I'm stressed. Oh! Yes! Come on! Woo! Don't overthink it, Theo. Which American singer voiced Smurfette? Oh, wow! In the 2011 and 2013 Smurf movies. A. Lady Gaga. B. Britney Spears. C. Taylor Swift. D. 
Katy Perry. G. Katy Perry. He likes his films, or he likes his Smurfs, or his women. Few things I like more than a big blue batty. I've got the image of blue waffle in my head now. Oh yeah, apparently a, a woman put a remote up her vagina and that's how she got a blue waffle. Oh, I, I bet one of those old massive sky ones as well. She's trying to play that bubble game. <laughs> Which of these is the biggest primate? <laughs> this guy. Uh, <laughs> the marmoset, the gorilla, the tarsia. Oh, what, what the fuck is that? The chimpanzee. Mm, I love it with a host. <laughs> The fuck is that? Hey guys, guys, <laughs> what I, what is this? That's not a word. I know a marmoset is a small little boy. Not that I know my small little boys well. What is a marmoset? It's so when you get um all of the different marmite memorabilia, you have a full marmoset. Gorillas are calling out to me. It feels like Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I'm gonna go for gorilla for my boy Caesar, who actually was a chimpanzee. But, you know, gorillas, they're, they're the big boys, aren't they? Nobody gives a shit about the chimps. Do you know gorillas will just, like, rip each other apart? <laughs> is it? Is it <laughs> I didn't know that. Not in the group chat. They hunt each other down and tear each other to bits. Is that like a quote from a Joe Rogan podcast? <laughs> no, I also once read a whole Wikipedia. Ah, oh, it's yeah! <laughs> Just the host and the contestant talking over the answers. <laughs> <laughs> there was this woman who owned a gorilla and then it, like, ripped her mate's face off. What do you call a sport that has been adapted to be played by people with disabilities? A para sport, a disabled sport, an adjusted sport, or D, a sport for all. I call it whatever sport you're playing, mate. The Paralympics, isn't it? It's not called the Disabled Olympics. I call it that, but all right. It, I'd like to go with A, please. Yes! What hit Isaac Newton on his head and gave him the idea for the theory of gravity? A branch, an apple, a ball, a piece of furniture. The answer is B, an apple. Are you sure? No hesitation. I got an A in physics. Yes! Go on, Isaac. What is the phase change from liquid water to solid water? A, liquefaction. B, freezing. C, production. D, consternation. Are you a man of science? Not really. It's probably one of my weakest subjects, along with PE. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Call me a homeless man in winter, because I be freezing. Really, uh, really a good way to punch up with your jokes there, Steve. I'll tell you what I hate about the homeless. <laughs> Oh, he do be freezing because he's ice cold. Thanks. I'm loving this. This new look has got me feeling all kinds of intelligent. Where do hyenas live? A, Europe. B, Africa. C, the United States. Or D, China. Cannot imagine a European hyena. Hyenas can live anywhere they bloody well want. Freedom of movement. Exactly, it's 2023. I've watched many a David Attenborough documentary and he said, hyena. Quite a few times. B. Africa. Whoa! I would have said China. Oh, that's Chinese hyena. Well, China make everything. <laughs> Just turn it over and see what's underneath it. Let's it's assume. correct. In what year did the euro become the official currency of Europe? 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. Change question. Uh, I'm just gonna have to get. I'd just guess here. So what would you pick? I would have said year 2000. Oh, you would have been out. Correct decision. You would have been out, my friend. What is the oh, Mona Lisa's fuck. name? A. It's a mystery. B. Mary Antoinette. C. Mona Lisa. D. Mary. I feel like the most simple answer we're gonna have to go with, and that is just the Mona Lisa. For four thousand stars. Has. The badly made game tried to trick Mr. Zach Jalab and have they succeeded? So what is the name of Kieran Carlin? Kieran Carlin? It's actually Billy Big Bollocks! Mona Lisa! Oh, get in, man! Including the Jokers, how many cars are there in a 52 card deck? Well, there's two Jokers, but are they included in the 52? Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen times four. 40, 3, 46, 49, 52. So there are 54 cards. Ooh, I like the logic. Also known as counting. Yeah. Oh, oh they, they yes. can trick a normal man. They can't trick Theo Baker. You know, there's a reason I got an A in maths, you see. What country is home to the cities of Seville, Zaragoza, and Toledo? Italy, Spain, France, Germany. It would have all been Germany if they bloody won. I sounded annoyed that they lost there. That's not what that was. Uh, I think 
due to my extensive football knowledge, Spain, please, or por favor. It is indeed Spain. Yes! I'm loving this. 8,000 stars. What would you spend 8,000 stars on if I could give you it right now? I just put it in an ISA. What is another name for a fennec, a prairie dog, a forest cat, a desert fox, wow, or an alpine lobster? <laughs> alpine lobster? Yeah, but where are they being found? I guess, but that doesn't make sense, really. Surely, that, they're just living in the ice. They're just frozen. Is that not just Iceland? I forgot what the word alpine meant, and I was thinking of trees because of pine. When I hear fennec, I think prime lockdown war zone. Okay, ooh, okay. It's got to be something that packs a punch. Uh, keeping on theme of Call of Duty, if it um, has the name of a fennec, you know, if you're going to name a gun after something, you wouldn't call it the, the little gerbil, would you? I'm thinking either Desert Fox or Forest Cat, so I might go for a 50-50 and hope that it doesn't just leave me with those two answers. Ooh! Okay! Yes! I mean, it's nice in the fact that I now know that it... I, I don't want to speak too soon, but I now know that it's Desert Fox. But I also was going to go for that in the first place. That's why people tune in for this game. See? Desert Fox, please. Yes! yes. I'm so I'm actually really proud of myself. I was really worried I was going to go out on the first two questions. And then I saw it was, what is the first even number? <laughs> How many books are in the Artemis Fowl series. A4, B8, C12, D16. You're gonna have to use the, the, pow the power of logic here. Any series of books that is making 16 is ridiculous. Four is a good run. Harry Potter had eight, I think. I'm, I'm kind of in between eight and 12. Maybe you could just say 10. Excuse me, Chris Tarrant. I want to submit my own answer because it's 10. I feel just by that, the natural answer that I want to give is eight. He's going for eight. It's locked in. Let's see. It feels like a reasonable number to pick. I like the logic. <gasps> oh my God. I am really smart now. Holy shit. I am intelligent. How many stars are there in the European flag? 12, 10, 14, or 8? Good luck. Oh no. So you've got phone a friend or 50 50. Who is your chosen friend? Reeve. Not like this. No. <laughs> no! I might just take a. You know how the last time I didn't do my gut? Yeah. I might just go with my gut. You know what? That's a sign to not use a lifeline. I'm going with A12. Fuck it, man. <sighs> something something came to, to me at the start of this question before I phoned Reeve, and I was like, and there's just something about that number which screams European. 14 seems excessive. 8 is it way too, too little. 10? It's too round. It's too much, too much of a round number. Oh! 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 oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, we've managed to secure it without using a lifeline as well. Phenomenal. Oh my God, that made that was a pot guess. Who became the first emperor of France in 1804? A, Louis the 16th. B, Napoleon I. C, Louis Philippe the first. D, Napoleon the third. Big fan of your emperors of France? I didn't know that there was ever an emperor of France. Um, I'm gonna have to go for and ask the audience here. Stupid twats. I think because we're just before the halfway point, I feel I feel like the audience are still with me. Can't I can't phone a friend because none of my friends would know this. You know, I'm just gonna go with B. I'm gonna go with the audience. I got no clue. I don't like the French. The lies correct! Yes, thank you, audience! I love the French! <laughs> Croissants and chocolate for breakfast. Yes, please, you freaks. What C do the major countries of the European antiquity period surround? There you go, George. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking figure that one out, mate. <laughs> oh. The Mediterranean, the China Sea, the Black Sea, the Dune Sea. Incidentally, B is just what blind people say. <laughs> China Sea seems too far from Europe. I'm thinking Mediterranean because you've got you've got your Italy, you've got your Greece. Mm, they are countries. And antiquity gives me old vibes like the Romans and the Greeks. Mm. Uh, I could just say any 
<laughs> the English. <laughs> Just anything with a fist and it makes it seem antique. Are you gonna, are you gonna go with your gut? I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna go for the Mediterranean A. The Mediterranean. Correct! Yes. He keeps on going, he keeps on going. Come on! I'm actually so proud of myself, which just like shows the direction my life's heading in. Of what is the surface of Mars made which gives it its thread appearance? A, paprika, I'm B, red yeah, sand, on. C, granite, D, iron oxide, rust. I'm certain it's D. I'm certain it's D. Iron oxide rust, I feel like, is the right answer, personally. And I'd, I'd like to go with that, please. It's locked in. Go on, go on. Woohoo! Hey! And he keeps on going! Which month is not part of spring? February, March, April, May. Surely February, right? March is the start of spring. Uh, spring would be March. No, spring. Wait, oh, hang on. Oh, mate, this is a roughie. The room is tense. But surely February, February, there's no way February can be spring. It's February, it's bloody freezing. Nah, mate, February is not part of spring. There's no way it's freezing. No, no, March is the start of spring. There's no, February, A, February. Okay, locked in. Yeah, there's no way February is spring. There's just absolute waffle if it is. It's, it's literally, you go skiing. You go skiing in February. You live in the freezer in February. Whoa, he yes. keeps on going. Oh, you just got to back the gut. Back the gut. Ignore the nut. Back the gut. Gut, gut health for life. What is the maximum amount of holes a golf course can have? A6, B9, C18, D22. It's got to be C18. Come on. What's your preferred amount of holes? I don't know. I find uh, women have too many holes down there. They have this... Uh, <laughs> they always talk about this famous third hole, which can't be seen, but only heard. <laughs> so, so I'd like to rule that one out. Uh, and therefore, I'd probably go for seven. What about you? I prefer a more open plan woman and I just like to merge all the uh, existing holes into one. Yeah, one size fits all. Yeah, I like, I watch Grand Designs and I just think open plan is just nicer. <laughs> C18. Already clapping. He's confident, he knows, is it right? Yes. 18. He's flying. 32, and this was, this was my target, I wanted to get here. What is the name? Of the most famous oh for fuck is it really <laughs> Microsoft Paint. <laughs> That's how I do my thumbnails. We just had <laughs> Euro European antique <laughs> now we got oh, fuck. Just say it. Just say the answer. I'm going, I'm gonna go for a Photoshop, please. Thank you. Yes. Stupid game. Stupid game. <laughs> what sport is played on horseback with a ball? A horse ball. Sounds convincing that one. B raining. C horse soccer that would involve a ball and a horse. B equifun. All right, C's definitely not a thing. I thought they were on about the thing that the, like the royals play when they got the long stick. Sometimes with sports, it could literally be as like football is football. Horse ball could legitimately be an answer. Equifun feels like because what is the, the the horse dancing thing? That's like equi something, isn't it? Equ equestrian. This guy, what you be reading up on, this guy? Let's go Equifun. Let's go, well, but the last one was D. And this one is D. If I say something else and it's Equifun, I'll be more annoyed by saying Equifun and it's something else. So I'd like to go with Equifun, please. Chris, Tarrant? Locked in. Surely he can't do it again. If it's Equifun, I'm gonna eat my own feet. It's oh horseball. no, it is. It's as simple as that. Oh, I was trying to be too smart. That's, if I actually used a bit of the old Zach Jellib there, he would have said horseball. You started with horseball and the logic was there and then you, you taught yourself into going for half equestrian and half fun. And I feel like it would be odd to name a sport after the joy you get from it. What's a storyboard? A fairy tale book? A sketch of a movie scene? A piece of film? Cut scenes? A storyboard's a sketch of a movie scene. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Oh, this is way, this is way risky with me, you know. Oh, ah! The gut has been true so far. Oh, come on. Yes! yes. Oh my God, mate, we could go all the way in. And he keeps on going. Let's just, this is like Leicester winning the league. Jamie Vardy, right? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Up to how many pounds? 
10 gorillas weigh? 11 pounds, 44 pounds, 441 pounds, three tons. Now it's between C and D. <laughs> you, when you watch those shows, like the documentary shows in America, it's like the 500 pound man, he's bigger than a gorilla. Three tons is ridiculous. It's gotta be like an elephant. I'm gonna go C, 441 pounds please. He has a good hunch. It's C, is it C? Yes! Boss, he's through. He keeps on going, he keeps on smashing, he keeps on destroying, he keeps on breaking the glass ceiling. 64 thou, as we say in the mean streets. What are prairie dogs? Well, I know they're not a fennec. Uh, rodents, felines, canines, insects. Prairie dog? I know it's not an insect, I've seen them. They're the little ones that um, are on the nature shows and they go, Alan! Alan! Oh! Steve! Alan! Steve! Alan! Gonna go for rodent. They've got their little gnashes, you can see, and the feature of a rodent is that they need to gnaw their teeth down. This guy, impressive. You're gonna go for it on question 11 with three things left. You're confident with the rodent. I'm very confident with the rodent. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I call mine. I call mine an insect. <laughs> Yeah! Yes! Come Keeps on. on swinging and not missing. You gnaw those teeth, baby. Ooh, what is the capital of Iceland? Reykjavik. Oh, Reykjavik. Come, uh, yep, yep. Shall I just go Reykjavik? Yeah, Reykjavik. Yep. Cool. <laughs> in 2020, which director was the first to release one of his films in the game Fortnite? Steven Spielberg, Christopher Nolan, George Lucas, or J.J. Abrams? Ooh, this is a tough scene. My logic would be Christopher Nolan's films don't really, I think they go into the world of Fortnite that easily. Like, you know, you're not gonna get Tenet going into Fortnite. Steven Spielberg, I think he had a go at not Scorsese. Ooh, but still Spielberg, he comes from that, you know, the classic world of cinema. He seems a, a man of respect. Uh, I'm gonna have to go 50-50, please. 50-50. D. I think that's a good idea of what goes. I'm hoping one of C or D go. Ooh. Nice. It's got to be D, JJ Abrams, please. And let me down, Nolan. I think it's done you nice here, but I don't know the answer. <gasps> I'm so ashamed. Christopher Nolan? <laughs> that's despicable. That is vile. Oh, I feel like a fool. Was it Tenet? Were was, was you just playing Fortnite backwards? <laughs> what, could it, what film could it have been? Dunkirk? Seems a bit insensitive. Ah, oh, what a stupid, stupid doctor I am. What is question? Right. Number 12. What the Three lifelines left. fuck is this? <laughs> Carrie, oh yeah, here we go. Carrie Underwood and what place in the fourth season of American Idol. A first, B second, <laughs> C twelfth, D eighth. Are you a big fan? Are you a big fan of the fourth season of American Idol? Um, I I have to say I've never seen a, a episode of American Idol. What? That's the only season I watch. The only reason that I would imagine this is a, a thing is if Carrie Underwood like won or something. But then is she like somebody that? became big and then was like went out in the early rounds that's why it's like oh how the hell did Carrie Underwood not make it her origin story uh, and now she's such a well-known family <laughs> such a family renowned name now I love her she's really accomplished and pretty I'm gonna go to ask the audience I think just keep the the wagon rolling I, I assume the audience are, are well brushed up on their American Idol knowledge fuck <laughs> okay that does seem oh, no. that seems <laughs> Seems like it might not be A. Uh, so you ruled one out. Right, so it's um, B or C. Those are the... They're completely different answers. You can still do a phone a friend or flip the question. Oh, see, that has absolutely ruined my lifelines, that has. Why the hell, if somebody is... I assume she's a singer. She's not some sort of, like, escapologist that just happened to be on American Idol. They've got no rules. They're, she probably did some sort of gun show. Just walked out <laughs> with akimbo thumpers and just went to town on the audience as she got through. God, I, want, I want to keep some lifelines. I want to phone a friend at the end to do the whole classic. Just want to let you know oh, that I've won a million. <laughs> 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 um, I want, I'm going to go 
My gut is telling me B, the audience is telling me B. I'm gonna go for second. Oh my god, Kieran, this is oh this is silly of me, isn't it? Were the audience correct? Oh my god, am I being silly? What's the point in the question then? Oh What? I guess no 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 one's seen the fourth season of American Idol. What? I don't understand why I asked the question. <laughs> oh. Also, if she won, who were the pricks in the audience telling me she came 12th? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe people who don't know who Carrie Underwood is. Honestly. She is a, a saint. I have never heard or seen of this woman in my life. Carrie Underwood, again, you've disappointed. Oh, my God. So it comes down to this. Get this final question right, and this man, and Theo Baker, would be a certified clever bastard. How many books are there in the Chronicles of Narnia? Three, four, seven, or nine? You a big fan of the uh, Chronicles? Oh, uh, mate, I have not a clue. I have read them as well. Oh, mate, I'm gonna ask the audience in game. We've already done that one. You got 50 50. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call a friend in game. Which friend would you like to call? I think my aunt Vanessa. She would know, wouldn't she? Auntie knows. I would say A. Not totally sure that said. So she went with A, same as me. Oh, uh, mate, we'll have to back. We'll have to back Aunt Vanessa. I A was my gut as well, so it hasn't failed me yet. We're locking in A. Yeah. Could this be the end? No. Of Mr. Not like Baker. this, Vanessa. Not like this, Vanessa. Show me some green. Oh, what? Seven. It makes sense because the. No, wait, hang on a minute. No, Vanessa, you're not having. You're not. I'm not letting Vanessa do that to me. Seven. I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. I'm actually. I'm livid. I'm, I'm absolutely livid. D been done dirty by Aunt Vanessa. No, but the, the whole point of in game is it to tell you the answer. I gave Auntie. She should know her books. The game is a game, and it was coded by a, I believe, a random group of Polish people. Idiots. And there it is, Theo is disqualified due to racismo, which means the final rankings are as follows. George Clarkey, Dr. Bernard Groves, Snack Jalab, and Theo hates the Polish Baker.